Hey everybody. So today I wanted to finally share my personal setup. So I'm using my solar pa panels, my big E batteries. Uh, I'm using them all in my off-grid workshop. So this workshop is 100% off-grid. It doesn't have any access to you know grid power or anything like that. So I've got to power everything myself. Uh, and this is how I'm doing it. Please let me know in the comments. You know what you think. If you think I'm making any mistakes. Uh, but you know this is what I'm doing, and I hope it's useful to you in your own builds as you're thinking about this. The first thing is. Uh, I have a 16S setup, so I'm taking 16 of the um, 280 amp hour uh, Eve cells and putting them in series. I've got two stacks of eight in compression. Um, they're just stacked right here. I'm gonna ultimately enclose this, obviously, because we don't wanna touch these or get any, have any short circuits going on. But for now, this is uh, just the setup as I'm getting it going. Um, I'm using a 250 BMS, uh, amp BMS from Dolly. Um, I can't say I love this thing. It's been a little finicky on me, but um, with enough TLC, I think it's working uh, pretty satisfactorily right now. Um, but the setup is pretty straightforward, right? I've got the bottom cells here. This is the main cell negative. Main cell positive is right back here, uh, if you can see. Uh, BMS is going up here. I've got a bus bar. And then the main cell uh, negative and positive go back up to this system, and I'll adjust the camera so we can see that. Otherwise, there's just a giant, there's a wire connector connecting these two to keep them in series. Uh, and everything is compressed as I did in my other video. So the batteries are pretty set. Um, I think long term, I'll have to think about heating and cooling. Um, cooling, I'm just trying to keep the temperature down in here. I'm actually going to get an AC unit. For heating, I'll probably put some heating pads into these. They have heating pads that are temperature sensitive. So I'll just plug those into my inverter and they'll make sure to keep everything above, you know, freezing, maybe around 40 or 50 degrees. Um, but this is my basic battery setup and let me adjust the camera now so we can see the actual full electrical setup. Hey, so I got a pair of gloves. Uh, let's take a look at the actual electrical distribution system. Um, so the power from the batteries comes up and it comes right in here. It splits, this is positive, this is negative. There's a positive, there's, this is the negative bus bar. Uh, it's coming from the battery. And then the positive that comes from the battery goes to this DC di disconnect switch. Uh, this isn't a circuit breaker or fuse. This just allows me to safely disconnect uh, the power from the battery. Uh, this is a 100 amp fuse, 150 amp fuse, sorry. And then this is the positive bus bar. So basically all the power from the battery is coming up to the bus bar, but on the, on the positive side, I can disconnect the power and I also have my fuse, okay? So this is uh, just ensuring me that I can disconnect the entire battery from the system and also making sure that if anything at the system level goes wrong uh, in terms of a, a closed circuit, a short circuit or something like that, I've got my fuse there to protect me, okay? These are my main two bus bars. Um, the first thing we can talk about is the solar power. So the po solar power comes in here from these two wires. Uh, it gets fed to this uh, DC circuit breaker. Make sure that if you're talking DC power, you're using a DC circuit breaker. This is a non-polarized DC circuit breaker. Um, and that feeds the solar charge controller from Victron. And then this is uh, feeding the power or allowing the Victron to charge the battery to these two bus bars. Okay, sorry if my fan's a little loud, uh, the inverter vent's a little loud. I'll try and speak out. Uh, but long story short, the inverter, uh, sorry, the solar charge controller is connected to these two bus bars through here. Um, and just connect the solar through here, and I can disconnect them both separately, which is really nice. I can make sure to disconnect just my solar panels, and I can also disconnect the entire system, which is definitely what you want. And they're both on circuit breakers, so if there's some sort of issue on any of them, again, uh, they'll get disconnected. Otherwise, the only thing that's really going on is I have a positive and a, a positive and a negative feeding my inverter. So the positive and the negative come down here. The negative just goes straight up. The positive has a separate switch. So I wanted to make sure I could always disconnect every single device, main device attached to the battery directly. So I can, obviously I can disconnect the entire battery. I can disconnect just the solar charge controller. I can disconnect just the solar panels. And with this, I can disconnect just the inverter. So if there's any issue, if I wanna work on one part of the system in isolation, I always have the ability to shut down different parts of the system. So the inverter, positive and negative are up there. It takes this power and it converts it into 240 volt power and a neutral that I'm sending over to my circuit breaker box, okay? Um, so it's a really simple system. In terms of the components, I think I'm really happy. These DC disconnects are really cheap. Uh, almost all of this was purchased on Amazon pretty affordably. I was very happy with that. Uh, I can't recommend enough the Victron uh, charge controllers. Uh, they're fantastic. They just work really, really well. The Bluetooth works on them great. Um, they're just, I felt like it was effortless to set it up uh, and it's super transparent. You can always just plug in and see the power that's flowed in your system. It's gonna keep track of how much power has flown in so you can, uh, see how much power you're generating in a day. The other thing, this is my Genertree, uh, Genertree Solar Inverter. They're a small company out of Michigan, um, but I really like what they're offering. This is a six kilowatt continuous inverter. So it can do up to six kilowatts continuous, two phase, it can surge, I don't know how high, 
Um, but it's just an amazing inverter. It has Wi-Fi connectivity. Uh, it's got a total, totally customizable, um, what they call a Wi-Fi board. So I can go in and change all the settings. I can see the power it's using. I mean, this thing just works. And also it's built in the, it's not built in the US, but it's uh, built by a company in the US. So you have great customer service. Um, you can actually talk to the people who are designing and building the inverter um, and all for a thousand dollars. So it's basically the same price as what you get for a cheap Chinese inverter, uh, but instead you get something better and you get US side support. Uh, so I can't recommend that enough. And I'll put a link to their website uh, below this. Otherwise, uh, that's my system. I'm pretty happy with it. I have to cover things up. Uh, I might add some airflow. As I said, maybe some heating pads, the battery, but it's a pretty simple system. I think it'd be very easy for other people to replicate. At the same time, it's a big system, right? I've got 14 kilowatts of storage. I've got six kilowatt battery. Um, and yet, it really wasn't that hard to put together. So you could actually put together a pretty good sized system um, all for not that much. I mean, this system, I'm using it to power things like circular saws, dust collectors, dehumidifiers, even I'm gonna be getting an air conditioning for in here because it's just too hot. Um, and I can handle all that with this system in uh, roughly a three kilowatt array. So I think it's pretty good value for money. Anyway, I'll post links to everything I have in here below and please post your questions or comments. I'd love to hear what you think. If you have suggestions, if I'm missing something, if I made a mistake, et cetera, et cetera, please post them in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching.